You might have heard of the famous cryptocurrencies in the market nowadays. To be honest, the crypto market is really getting bigger and bigger as days pass by, and it is really exciting to see the development and improvement of some coins out there, specifically Terra Luna. Yes, I have got some big and interesting news to share about Terra Luna. Let us all see and analyze how we can take advantage of opportunities like this. But first, I want you to keep in mind that I'm not a professional financial advisor and that there's always a risk whenever you invest in cryptocurrency or anything else for that matter. And you should always be vigilant and do your own research because, after all, it is your own money. With that said, let's get right into it. The previous few days have been tough on Terra Luna, but we are now seeing some growth and some pumped in its market price of up to 50%. There is recent news that could make the prices even better. As of the time of recording, Terra Luna is worth $0.0001594. On May 22nd, it broke through the resistance level. Although that happened, it is still important to note how volatile the crypto market is, no matter where you are putting your money. It might go all the way up today, but there is no guarantee that it will continuously move up. Next, look at this news saying Terra finally outlines reserve holdings and is looking to compensate UST users. Apparently, they already used the reserves in the hopes of holding the value of Terra USD to the peg of $1. It was a big mistake to actually wait that long. Before, they had 80,000 Bitcoin, 39,000 BNB, around 26 million USDT, 69,000 UST, and 1.6 million Luna. But after the catastrophe happened, they now only have 313 Bitcoin and 222 million Luna, wherein the 221 million is presently staked. They also now have 1.8 billion UST. They tried hard to convert their Bitcoin into UST, but look at the current value of UST right now, which as I am talking about is at 0.06929 dollars. Obviously, it was not able to be at par with the dollar. There was also a tweet that mentioned the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, suggesting a relief plan for UST retail investors. The question is, where will the money come from? Will it be from donations or the Luna Foundation? There really is no guarantee, especially in the future when it comes to the movements of cryptocurrencies. But of course, there are factors that you should pay attention to. The golden or number one rule before putting your money in the crypto market is to invest what you can lose and always keep in mind that you should also try to do your own research at all times because at the end of the day, it will be your call on where you are going to put your money. Just be smart, reasonable, analytic, and critical with your investments, not just in crypto but that applies to other things as well. As I have said earlier, Terra was up almost 60% just a few days ago, but right now, it is down 13.62% within the last 24 hours. You see, things in this market can drastically change overnight, and traders and investors are not new to that. They expect those movements one way or another. If you visit the Terra Station website, you will see some of the decisions that they are voting on. And if you look at this one in particular, Terra Builders Alliance, Rebirth Terra Network, there are only a few days left for the votes to be finalized. And if it passes, there will be two new Lunas. The first one is the Luna Classic, which is what we are seeing right now, the one that is already on the market. The second one is a new chain that they're referring to as Luna 2.0. Terra Luna's chart Looks like it has been going down more than it is recovering, but that is always the case with cryptocurrencies. They all go up and down, and if there are plausible projects or news that will likely affect Terra Luna in the future, then I think it is safe to hold on to Terra as of the moment. Anyway, there is also a lot to look forward to with Terra Luna, because when things are not looking good, for sure, the developers will look for ways to put it back on the list. They can even decide to build a whole new ecosystem for Luna Classic and launch something exciting for the new Luna. The possibilities are endless, but if you want to feel safe with where your money is going, 
then it is important that you keep up to date with the trends and the things that can affect Terra Luna. Well, this is what I am here for, to give you updates on your favorite cryptocurrencies. Another thing to note about Terra Luna is the amount of the circulating supply. As of the moment, it has around 6.5 trillion circulating supply, which is obviously too much right now, considering how the price is going. I guess we can all agree that it should go down. We are yet to know more about significant and big news about Terra Luna, and would this news erase some zeros? Of course, we are all hoping to see Terra Luna recover from the crash, but it is too early to predict right now. Will we see fewer zeros in the rise of Terra Luna in the coming months or years? Also, everyone is excited to know more about Luna 2.0 as this is part of the recovery plan in the hopes of getting Terra Luna back up on its feet, especially since its crash. Some of you might already know about it, but the Luna 2.0 will be the brand new token of the new Terra blockchain. Like I have mentioned, this is supposed to help the Terra Luna ecosystem because the collapse of this stable coin is evident. I bet that you are both excited and anxious for May 27th, 2022, as this is the date when Luna 2.0 will go live. But this date is not final because when this revival plan passes, it still needs to undergo some changes as the developers will have to build a new chain ahead of the launch. Not only are the supporters waiting for the launch, but a lot of people, whether supporters or not, investors or traders, are going to keep their eyes on the price of the Luna 2.0 as this can somehow make or break the crash of Luna Terra. Anyway, there will be lots of changes once the Luna 2.0 is official, but what we have to focus on right now is how the prices are going to move, including the soon-to-be Luna Classic. Will it still be possible to see Terra Luna or Luna Classic hit the $1 mark? If it happens, will it be because of this revival plan? We are all curious to know about that. Do not worry, as I will make sure to create videos about these questions when there is already an answer. But right now, we are all waiting and hoping that Terra Luna recovers from this crash. We have seen them try to reclaim Terra Luna with their first revival plan, which, sadly, did not work out. Quan's first proposal was to abandon the Terra stablecoin and redistribute Luna tokens among the members of their community. And this Luna 2.0 is actually their second revival plan to rescue Terra Luna from the crash. We are all looking forward to the success of this one, especially those who continuously held on to Terra Luna even after the first revival plan failed to bring back the price of Terra Luna. So yes, we will wait for now as this is the most significant launch that they are about to have. Well, for now, I hope you guys liked the content. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated because it would be a shame if you missed a big opportunity like getting rich with cryptocurrencies. So, until the next video guys.